The display of the Ten Commandments has become an important issue in the culture wars that seem to be dividing our country, as though appeal to a supposedly infallible, unchanging text could provide us with answers for our very rapidly changing times. In the 1940s, a juvenile court judge, Judge Rugemer, came to the conclusion that the way to combat teenage delinquency was to put a copy of the Ten Commandments into the hands of every teenager. This well-intentioned, if somewhat naive, effort was co-opted by Cecil B. DeMille as part of the PR for his movie, The Ten Commandments, starring Charlton Heston. And several of the stars of the movie appeared at the dedications of these monuments, as did Charlton Heston in North Dakota. I wrote this book in part because I was both amused and troubled as a biblical scholar by the role that the Ten Commandments have played in American society over the last several decades. They've even become the subject of Supreme Court cases. One of the problems with the Ten Commandments is that they contain values that we no longer accept. This is clear, for example, in the Last Commandment, which says, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, or his slaves, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. This commandment has to do with personal property. This status of women as property is a value that only recently in modern times have Jews and Christians who accept the Ten Commandments rejected. So the Ten Commandments enshrines values that we no longer accept. My goal in writing this book is to get people to think about what the Bible actually says rather than what they would like it to say or think it says. Mm -hmm.